What are you looking over there for? Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She's not going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Seems Linny is saying some strange things again. Uh, hello there. Excuse me, are you alright? Huh? Ah, I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. when she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Where to begin? Hmm... Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, Traveler. And hello, Paimon. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. 
In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please follow me. <laughs> 